syndrome it's a set of symptoms a lot of things are coming to the mind or body so it's a syndrome to put in malayalam kootaya akraman so but you see the particular this also i'll be sharing immediately before 1 o'clock i'll be giving to the group so what i put in blue in addition this syndrome or pattern must not be merely an expectable and culturally sanctioned response to a particular event example the death of a loved one you know the agony of a, the separation or death of someone in our life yesterday i discussed the particular case of the platonic love a girl and boy had and the demise occurred immediately after fixing of their marriage so actually this sentence when uh, her father sent the sent the daughter to me years back after the discussion with the two and a half hours i could conclude that case study i used the freudian method now that the uh, after the consultation the father asked me whether there is any problem i said absolutely no problem what the whatever the symptom that she is showing is absolutely all right because there was no mental disorder in her only if you take that's why when you do msc mental status examination when history is taken no previous incident is there no previous similar behaviors against agony was not there so this was so deep that is what dsm4 says in addition this syndrome or pattern must not be merely an expectable or culturally sanctioned response to a particular event for example the death of a loved one it is there in our culture also for one year and all that till next is christmas till next onam or show whatever we also want the particular family members want to celebrate the same way the depth is very high that is why she wanted to commit suicide not because she had this uh, innate uh, behavior so um, i uh, right from my class first class that is psychotherapy defined everything i have uh, sent to you now you connect everything you will come to know that how a psychologist should manage the case using different therapy now uh, this neurosis psychosis psycho for the agrarian view all this i just uh, just included in this just because you should again watch this because the psychotism neurotism psychopathy neurotism as you know this is a result of continuous defensive mechanism psychotism partially it is genetic also partially not only partially it is that uh, in any or some of the their ancestors will be having the similar issues so there is every chance that psychotism has got a genetic relation psychopathy as you know it also though in addition to genetics nurturing also plays you consider the case of japanese people how they manage the street uh, how hygienic they are why we are not we talk uh, high on uh, education Kerala is the most literate state, but what is our uh, personal hygiene? Uh, need not be up to the mark. How the hotels are maintained, how our streets are maintained, all this you know. So psychopathy is there. Even spitting the road, spitting on the road is a psychopathy. So now let me. Uh, I'm just uh, trying to brief you that today, uh, much beyond uh, your mental disorders, explained in your text, in your material. i wish to give a summary of all the mental disorders so that uh, you can expand your knowledge any time you want uh, it is uh, appropriately connected with uh, the, the different therapy which is not which are not mentioned here i will be mentioning again so uh, we will discuss again in the uh, our whatsapp platform now i wish to cover right from anxiety disorder to schizophrenia though it is not there not mentioned in your text in all the disorders my purpose is that a psych whether it is clinical psychology or counseling psychology a psychologist should know almost all the diseases at least the basics of this because schizophrenia that a psychologist cannot usually cure it without the medication and support of the psychiatrist but at the same time you should understand that schizophrenia has got some 25 versions so at least you should know the basic uh, 
differentiation or or basic uh, characteristics of a uh, schizophrenia patient so let me begin so i am doing in a particular way that anxiety and anxiety disorders five clusters so if you have got any doubt in between you can definitely ask but otherwise i'll be giving a sufficient gap and i'll ask you but we i want you to buy head today itself no need of no need need is that but uh, within 2 hours we want to buy heart uh, the mental disorders uh, you just cooperate with me i will show how easy it is very easy so i made anxiety anxiety cluster first so let us try to buy heart just uh, five words i mean five category that is phobic panic generalized anxiety disorder obsessive compulsive disorder and post traumatic disorder so i am putting it in a different way that is instead of beginning with a phobic disorder i am beginning with a generalized anxiety disorder let me see so generalized anxiety disorder that is i am taking a center and going up and down then it will be clear to you so the experience of a long term anxiety with no explanation so first what is a disorder that you should know how can anxiety be a disorder anxiety need not be a disorder at all for example you just imagine a condition that you are living aside a road was some uh, somebody has to mute there is disturbance please cooperate because that much work i am going to do today i want your cooperation please let everybody mute if only when you want to talk something you switch on then unmute and immediately mute now please cooperate with me within 2 hours i'll be covering most of the mental disorders and i'll see that you by heart it now uh, just imagine a condition because i want to differentiate between anxiety and anxiety disorder because uh, you are living uh, aside a road where traffic is there a small child of 5 year only mother and uh, the child is there right now in the house the child is quarreling child want uh, to play in inside the premises but uh, gate is not that safe lot of vehicles are playing so she suddenly requests the child okay i let me finish the work and i'll i'll also come for play the child is not agree now the mother is forced to send the child and uh, asking the child to report uh, uh, every now and then and she continues to work suddenly she will have an anxiety whether the, the child will go or where there's a kidnapping history is there uh, nearby house places so she, she has got fear as well as anxiety fear and anxiety can also be differentiated so here the question is her anxiety is unrealistic irrational or realistic and rational so that is why i put in blue an unrealistic irrational fear or anxiety of disturbing intensity only you can say it's a disorder it is anxiety is genuine what is wrong nothing is wrong for example you have to write examination in uh, february you don't exhibit any anxiety then the result will also be poor because only if you have got anxiety you will be alert i say it's not unhealthy anxiety in the sense in the positive sense you take anxiety so here in the mother's case it is can never be said to be an anxiety disorder but i take it the other way the same house same situation the house is built uh, with a compound wall very safe camera is also there she can see from any nook and corner of the house including the kitchen where she works now also she has a lot of anxiety and fear that is baseless that's what and if it is unrealistic and irrational then only anywhere any of the disorders i am going to discuss today 
you can say this is a disorder only if you feel that uh, it is inappropriate so the occurrence of anxiety without obvious external cause intruding on the daily functioning is only a disorder otherwise it's not a disorder now let us go to generalized anxiety disorder suppose a person is reporting for the last uh, uh, six months and one year i have a lot of sleep disturbances so naturally there's a categorization chronic the meaning of chronic and acute the chronic is something long lasting it was there for last six months or so more than that so whether severely chronic that depends on the case history so chronic excessive worry more than what is expected about a number of events or activities with a no specific threat present accompanied by at least three of the symptoms of see this is what what is most important restlessness fatigue difficulty concentrating irritability muscle tension sleep disturbance if at least three of the symptoms are there and this prolonged uh, beyond a period of six months or one year then you can say it is a generalized anxiety disorder hope you are clear you might have it so generalized anxiety disorder chronic excessive worry at least three symptoms out of five or six whatever because in the advanced versions you may see a bit different because you are our text is also following for early don't have to worry about that won't uh, disturb your marks at least try to learn dsm 5 also i have put in the soft copy in the group now panic and uh, panic disorder well, see every uh, for the first year itself i was asking every time you should know the word meaning so the, what is the panic meaning panic i can put it in a different way uh, in malayalam if i put it kaala pettu kayar eduthu that you know an oxen cannot deliver so kaala pettu kayar eduthu means that without thinking people plunge into action that is why the panic disorder so anxiety that manifests itself in the form of panic attacks that last from a few seconds to as long as several hours is a panic disorder so even uh, people may say something might uh, some uh, space shuttle might collapse after 10 years you tell your tense now why so before before that there will be some solution so panic panic disorder is a basic emotion that involves the activation of the fight or flight response of the sympathetic nervous system is called a panic so this is uh, again my dear friends unless there is we are aware about the basic anatomy and physiology you can't understand all this you cannot practice also that is why in uh, first year you are in uh, cognitive psychology as including the brain structure its function and all that and the endocrine system the fight or flight the role of hypothalamus everything but uh, people uh, students who are not interested with the science they ignore all this the fight or flight means a sudden action without thinking all this by this time the hypothalamus is tamed in such a way that this person is like this and with a silly reason he he is panicked so occurrence of repeated and unexpected panic attacks often accompanied by intense anxiety about having another one when one panic is over that that is why these people you know when they send their ch children outside they are worried every time they call every time uh, they disturbs them actually they cannot come uh, they cannot accomplish the work they cannot ac get to accomplish the work of others so this is a panic disorder so two we have studied generalized anxiety disorder panic disorder now phobia intense irrational fears again it is not rational not appropriate inappropriate irrational fears of specific objects or situations so phobia has got a list so in the forthcoming uh, slides uh, a few slides i'm just to show you you don't have to worry scared about all this for you to conveniently study at home i'll be posting it in the whatsapp group also so it is persistent and dis disproportionate fear of some specific object or situation that presents little or no actual danger to the person so this is why the phobic disorders are mostly learned 
for example uh, even a, you know how a cockroach troubles the house situation suppose it were in a tribal village their huts the inmates do not have any fear because the mother learned from grandmother the daughter learned from the mother so the learning theory all behaviors are learned see in a tribal situation even a snake snake uh, the children may not be having any fear so that is why so if we know the intensity in our society i am just going to show few more slides uh, from the net a phobia is a situation of fear during an activity or thing that causes the person to want to avoid it there are when you are asked for question you should be very clear whether the specific phobia is asked or social phobia is asked or agoraphobia is asked now you please remember by end of this uh, class now you please point not it down that i'll be showing avoidant personality disorder when you study after the anxiety disorder personality disorder is also will be taught today so you should understand that uh, social phobia is closely related to avoidant personality disorder Agora agoraphobia open space all this you can specific phobia phobia towards uh, i cannot travel in a lift travel in a flight so uh, i taught you different methods uh, how it is um, it can be managed flooding systematic desensitization all these things our should there be a lot of things we discussed in the first class or maybe in the second class see now i just i'm just showing the thing you just uh, see it specific phobia a particular situation a particular thing criteria all this better you read later because i may not get time so some people uh, may be reluctant to take injection is just a thing but a phobia process learning history see the pavlovian learning skinnerian learning then attention memory some painful memory had somebody fainted when injection was taken you saw it that fear exists in your brain so beliefs and interpretations beliefs a big problem because uh, you are worried about the i mean if you are superstitious such beliefs are there fear will automatically come anxiety will come naturally all this panic uh, phobic all disorders will come avoidance so that is why avoidant personality disorder will be discussing the biological reasons are there the family genetics very little only that we can overcome yesterday we discussed uh, when the comparing and contrasting of freudian with that of hitlerian but at let's say both genetics and uh, environment are only bricks you can change it so the training is necessary environmental conditioning of pavlov is required uh, social support family support everything is required that uh, it's a cluster cluster we'll be discussing along with the avoidant personality disorder you just remember this so exposure say exposure therapy exposure therapy is uh, contributed by pavlov so pavlov said uh, systematic desensitization that's why he said if a child is fearful of dog buy a dog in the house enough so uh, cognitive therapy cbt naturally this apex of all therapy you can include any uh, technique in the cbt the basic thing is abcs of cbt that is and that's it and or the incident its consequence its belief and consequence when the belief is changed with the same and that's it and result will be different that also we discussed already so uh, there are a lot of uh, selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors ssri medicines are there i'm just mentioning the, about the medicine because uh, you should you should not have a phobia when some somebody is bringing a prescription oh i cannot see this it's a doctor's duty then nobody will come to you you should have a general idea 
okay my dear friends please listen to me i have repeatedly said this particular thing because from the experience i am telling you should have a good knowledge about uh, like a doctor uh, anatomy physiology everything you should know whether it is clinical psychology or uh, counseling psychology you should have very good knowledge about all these medicines not for prescribing you know you should know what medicines they your patients are taking and its after effects heredity and my mental condition neurological so symptoms as you know these are the symptoms so personality trait medicines these are the usual medicines okay let me go to next therapy as i was discussing group therapy private therapy individual therapy mixing of all these along with the cbt can also help the various techniques of uh, pavlovian therapy we have discussed in the first class itself then different phobia agoraphobia fear on out, about outside places so now let me come to the other so three we have studied now that is generalized anxiety disorder panic disorder phobic disorders then comes a obsessive compulsive disorder here also it's a misnomer so people think that uh forgetting i mean uh, fear about whether you have locked to the door or close to the gas such things are the ocd now please try to by heart now ocd means obsession in thought and compulsion in action obsession in thought and compulsion in action usually obsession in thought is recurring treatment than compulsion in action except if the compulsion in action in the sense like suicidal tendency and all that is also related to obsession more then treatment is required otherwise in developed nations where people are less to for working such people are better suited suitable they suit better in quality control because since they got a compulsive behavior till they will definitely check all the parts and the quality will be better so obsession is to be treated because due to the, the now you remember the particular definition of uh, mental disorder due to obsession daily life is disturbed when daily life is disturbed so this obsession need to be treated in the case of compulsion you make a practice many of us you know, even i have some compulsion because especially when in a large house a uh, lot of many doors were there when i stayed in a quarter when my daughter was alone uh, living in a different room definitely on those days i used to check the doors many times how i sold this uh, see while closing the tower bolts or putting the uh, particular objects or locking the locking with the key or padlock i just to give inflict some pressure or a little pain on the fingers and along with if i say suppose i am a christian i say jesus jesus or allah or krishna so when i go to bed i can remember if i, I if i have suspicion that whether i have locked it or not or switching of the gas i just remember yes i have just uttered krishna krishna or jesus so that that memory will confirm that you have done it so that way this can be overcome hope you are clear a disorder characterized to obsessions or compulsions obsession in thought and compulsion in action this is very very important obsession in thought require more treatment than compulsion in action unless there is it is a threat to the life so anxiety disorder characterized by the persistent intrusion of unwanted and intrusive thoughts or distressing images they are these are usually accompanied by compulsive behaviors designed to neutralize the obsessive thoughts or images or to prevent the, some dreaded event or situation so since i am sending it i am not explaining more about it i have already explained all this now comes the ptsd PTSD post traumatic stress disorder stress disorder earlier it was thought that it is a result of the people who attend the war front there is also a seed that you can remember 
for a Misamadavan film, when this Kadana, that uh, explosion of the temple ritual is taking place, uh, that the person from the uh, war front, uh, since he experiences such sounds, uh, severe sounds, he, uh, he just uh, uh, down, he, he keeps his posture down, uh, lay down on the floor. This is because of the PTSD. Earlier it was thought like that PTSD is a part of that behavior, that uh, memory. Now PTSD is one of the severest uh, issues intruding the health of daily life, especially trauma, sexual trauma. Even in the family life, a particular word, I mean, threatening word, questioning the diplomacy, integrity of the other partner by the seniors or the uh, spouses, act as a trauma in the clients. Because after that, they fail to touch that object. Say, so for example, if she damaged a precious thing in the house, she was scolded, she shouted, a lot of anger was there. Even that remain as a trauma. So in the forthcoming slides, I am giving a lot of explanation, its prevalence, three different therapy, all this uh, I am not uh, talking here now. There is a diagnostic criteria, how to solve it, how different uh, stresses, sometimes certain acute stress disorders prevent the PTSD. That also you can see in this comorbidity is there. Uh, how we can uh, how you can use the, in the as part of treatment how uh, you can use uh, uh, this particular CBT in it. See, for example, 1918 flood. Suppose there was traumatic experience experiences, and after 1918, sorry, 2018. After 2018, uh, in all the every year there were a lot of uh, issues. A lot of disasters at many parts of Kerala. So naturally, those who experience it, in the coming May also, people will have this PTSD problem. So it is, it is genuine. So you cannot say that it is a disorder, but it's still PTSD include in all these things. Even a small experience, you fear. When there is a possibility, of course, now orange alert or red alert, the first year in 2018, even the politicians were, the government was criticized because the public didn't know what is orange alert or red alert. And now it is made clear and the government in advance gives the uh, alerts. So then only uh, people need to worry. Before that, if they worry, means, or oh, still, you cannot say it is a disorder that will be there in the people because they experience the trauma. Oh, you are clear about it. So. All these various treatments, psychodynamic therapy, all therapies are there. Uh, depending on the appropriateness, you can do uh, marital family therapy. That is why uh, 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 in the marital therapy, suppose a girl was sexually abused or a boy was abused in the um, their childhood, you know, he may have sexual weaknesses or frigidity may be experienced by the females or itching, fear, all these things happens. So rape is one of the uh, serious causes for PTSD. All this I have explained. I don't have time to uh, talk now, including hypnosis, pharmacotherapy is there, group therapy, group therapy certainly works, CBT is there. So I am giving all this for you to conveniently see systematic desensitization we have studied. So in addition to what we have studied, I have given all these things. Uh, please uh, learn and become good practitioners. And uh, I am moving to the next step uh, called the personal maybe somatoform disorders that you may not have much to study, but I am giving the other category of five somatoform disorders. So before that, let me recollect uh, what all things we have studied now. We studied mental mental um, disorder definition. We discussed anxiety disorder cluster. We discussed. Generalized anxiety disorder, panic disorder, phobic disorder, um, OCD and PTSD. 
Uh, are you, my dear students, are you clear about all the five anxiety disorders and various therapies involved? If somebody admit and tell, I can proceed. Okay, you are clear about all. You, now you have to buy. What I'm asking is that you have to buy heart now itself. It's a very simple uh, okay. anxiety disorder cluster, uh, generalized anxiety disorder, uh, phobic uh, phobic disorder, uh, panic disorder, uh, OCD, PTSD. Now, somatoform disorders, that also you have to study. Uh, soma means body. That means certain, here also, this is uh, mostly, these are all uh, neurotic disorders. Because the symptoms are taken to body. That is a somatoform. Why is it called somatoform? Because soma means body. It is taken to the form to the mind or the mind is what is coming to the mind it is exhibited as a symptom in the body in Patanjali Yoga it is said I'm just uh, telling now Vyadhi Sthyana Samshaya Pramada Alasya Viradi Prandi Darshanam Alaptabu Migatta Navastu Tattvani Chitta Vikshay Pastadurai nine categories are there at that time the ASM was not there here the Vyadhi Vyadhi is both uh, somatoform that is when the stress is there it affects the body when there's a body pain discomfort is there that stress comes to and affect the mind so it is virtually so now here the somatoform is it is ex because of the neurotic condition a lot of symptoms are experienced when it is when x-ray is taken or blood tests are they given or uh, medical examination is done now no such uh, problem is seen but uh, patient is suffering from this and it is really a problem for the inmates of the other members of the house so somatization so here you have to understand one somata form means all the five disorders like the anxiety disorders somata form you have to understand that somata form is all the five disorders somatization is one among that somatization is one among the somatoform disorders so it's always the other is it's also called briquettes syndrome multiple complaints of physical ailments over a long period beginning before age 30. here also you have to understand one thing these are all explained found by briquette maybe almost 100 years back you have to see when industrial revolution prior to industrial revolution or at that period there were a lot of unemployment the same way now forget about the covid condition otherwise in india also this problem is severe now what was severe in uh, abroad is developed countries it is this particular thing is severe in india or third world countries because youngsters when they are not settled with a job marriage so such issues are there this uh, somatization disorder is very common so let me read it multiple complaints of physical ailments over a long period beginning before age 30 that are inadequately explained by independent findings of physical illness or injury and that lead to medical treatment or to significant life impairment the problem is that when it is if the patient is examined no biochemical value or any x-ray or physiology or nothing is affected but still the people continue with this problem of reporting the pain and all that. so it is named before Brickwood in 1859 the most common complaints are headaches fatigue heart palpitations fainting spells nausea vomiting abdominal pains bowel uh, troubles etc etc so for you to understand better i have colored it now see the same slide only i have colored it now you can easily understand this at least four pain symptom two gastrointestinal symptom without pain one sexual symptom and one symptom suggesting neurological symptom then only the somatization should becomes a disorder otherwise also this is an indicator for the doctors when the only symptom is no symptom is found uh, no testing uh, proves that the patient has got this problem 
uh, biochemistry or x-ray, whatever, when people are troubling the medical practitioner, they naturally give some triglycerides, alprazolam, uh, for irritable bowel syndrome is there. These are all purely psychological only. So what they give, they will give some am amitriptyline, that uh, medicines will be given. <clears throat> so uh, you don't have to worry much about this. You don't have to study my, much in deep uh, in uh, the disorders. But it's better you know all these things. The conversion disorder is another thing. Psychological disturbances characterized by actual physical disturbances such as the inability to speak or move one's arms. So I am teaching in Anna O case by Freud. It was a, it's a famous case. So the case was taken <coughs> where there's hand teaching was uh, when physiology was actually was taken, the, all the bone, muscle, everything was perfectly all right. So likewise, uh, it's all neurotic disorders. No uh, pattern in which symptoms of some physical malfunction or loss of control appear without any underlying organic pathology. Originally, it was called hysteria. Now, next is hypochondriasis. Hypo means little. Hypochondriasis is characterized, is diagnosed if a person has a persistent, continuously is telling, every day is telling, has got that illness, this illness. Some people will say, I have cancer. Even if with after all the testing by hematologist uh, or the oncologist confirms that, uh, reinforces that, they can, that this person cannot have cancer for another 10 years. So he still he won't believe. Uh, he may have, he has he's suffering from heart pain anytime he may fail. All this, uh, actually these people are really a headache to the uh, MD especially, general medicine. MD general medicine doctors report 60% of their patients are like this. They come live, all the somatoform, or one kind of, one or the other kind of uh, somatoform disorders. So here you should know all the Freudian therapy, Adlerian therapy, all the therapy we discussed are relevant uh, to, I think I discussed uh, more than eight therapies. There are many other therapies available in the net and you know, books. Exercise therapy is there uh, for career, better career guidance. There are uh, field therapies there. Uh, okay, we will discuss in the other platforms. Now I don't have time to discuss much on those. Uh, you please try to understand somatoform disorders is one of the um, time killing and unnecessary medical prescriptions. They will not be happy unless there is few medicines are prescribed. So they demand the doctor, if, even if doctors say nothing wrong with you, still they demand some medicines. These are all somatoform disorders. Then body dysmorphic disorder. That is another very, very important thing, especially in this society with the media invasion is there. When a person is dark, when a person is dark, you do not have a statue, stature, is uh, short, uh, he may be having less than five feet, he is not, uh, see, what do you say, his appearance, presentation. Say for example, uh, our uh, film star Srinivas, he became a star. He was ridiculed many times, he used to say in his, uh, uh, while in his talks, he was discouraged to be an actor. So likewise, if it was a disorder, it acted as a disorder in him, he would not have come in front. You may tell this example uh, for treatment, but a, a very strong evidence and example is there in the next screen you see. Who is this person? You know it is Michael Jackson. He was very smart, though he was dark. Because of this disorder only, he used a lot of steroids. And he became white. By that time, his kidney, everything got damaged. He died. Otherwise, a multimillionaire with that much talents would have lived long, even now. So this is what the body dysmorphic disorder is very severe. <clears throat> now, pain disorder. These people now they have very fair pain. Now, what are the solutions for this? Especially body dysmorphic disorder and all that. You have studied the Carl Rogers theory yesterday. I have specifically put uh, by the at the end of that theory therapy uh, a beggar in the street. Yes, he can definitely have to enjoy the nature even if so, nobody is inviting him. 
and keep the person engaged for pain disorder keep the person engaged and uh, like uh, in uh, Carl Rogers theory I am the person who is very much important well, human species the most important among the species and uh, man I, I in particular is important so and when uh, that thing is there all these dysmorphic disorders can go that understanding it's not that easy with psychotic symptoms it will be very difficult to uh, change the mind the pain disorder best relief is that uh, is possible by keeping a person engaged and idle man's mind is a devil's workshop now we talk about personality disorders here the pattern personality disorder we are slowly moving from neuroticism to psychotism okay this is not exactly psychotic but there are uh, paranoid schizophrenia is there so pa paranoid personality so some genetic role is there it is also learned when uh, parents uh, say for example uh, parents just tell just imagine a condition that uh, and a child is sent to the school the parent is telling you take care of everything your pencil box if you don't return that means somebody has taken it beware of your friends what will happen the child will have a paranoid behavior the child may think that the other person my other his own colleagues and friend in the class he is a thief, he may take it. So this is nurtured. This is very, very important that learning plays a big part in paranoid personality disorder also. His trust of others. So you there on a scale is lost because maybe few of their belongings. But the thing lost, other person is taken paper, the children. Uh, let me take one minute rest. Okay, my dear friends. So different therapies that you require, training, transactional analysis, I taught you. Yes, that, uh, that also I taught you in detail. All these transactions also make a person paranoid because parents are every day telling uh, your friends will take that things, this thing. Uh, so that every time when a child is blamed, the child also suspects. And they say, since they believe their parents, Suddenly, this character comes to play. Now, antisocial personality disorder. Again, this therapy. I'm so tired. Can you just tell me which therapy will work better for antisocial personality disorder? Except for the genetic part. I waste. Uh, Study and discussed many theories. Can you tell uh, for antisocial it also uh, develops in the child. Uh, which theory, which therapy can help you? Uh, the, the therapy is one of the relevant therapy for uh, uh, for anti antisocial personality disorder. If you nurture a child. Uh, with uh, uh, Adlerian therapy, there's a social interest will be there. So, the social personality will go because you can consider everybody as a, a part of the society and the social responsibility. When social responsibility comes, and the social personality disorder will go. Okay, thank you. 
So, antisocial personality disorder is characterized by a lack of conscience. Manasa Shila. You know, Adler particularly say this conscience is not there in antisocial personality disorder. So, people with this disorder are prone to criminal behavior, believing that their victims are weak and deserving to be taken advantage of. They tend to lie and steal. So, all this learning is also there. When uh, uh, finding fault, for the first class in the first year, I told you, find no fault in another person. If you find fault in another person, all this paranoid, paranoia, dissocial, all this will come because you are not committed to society. That is why Adler in there is, there is therapy is very relevant. So antisocial personality, they are careless with money and take action without thinking about consequence. Why? See, they make money in antisocial way, for example, stealing is someone, no one's money, somebody's money. So they are not worried about the sweat behind it. So now they are careless. They are often aggressive and are much more concerned with their own needs than the needs of others. So, social personality disorder. People are they wanted to satisfy their needs, not the needs of others. So with the little child, should, the child should be nurtured in de detail, discussed in the Skinnerian therapy, all actors have been researched, the child birth, really search in the net uh, and why you can use in your therapy. Now the uh, mistake at the borderline, it is not like that. Here the neurosis and psychosis. You can remember in a better way that in the neurosis, the disorder, psychotism is there. People with this disorder are prone to See, they inflict pain, they give pain on themselves, causing their acute to anger. Very serious disorder, many people have counselors should see that, whether you put rest of that, not that suicidal threats are uh, mentioned by the parents. Or they, you should not uh, take it alone, uh, take, uh, take the case alone. You should definitely see that uh, yeah, the patient is sent to the hospital because suicidal threats are there when you use the various therapy it may he may get aggravated because it's it's a part of psychoticism. Now histrionic person constant attention seekers then it will be the center of attention all the time. And interrupting others in order to these are all not discussed much in your book still personality disorders are there I only wish that you even if you are not studying like this, to be the center of attention of all the time people are like this they want attention exhibit or exaggerate it is uh, different from that of superiority complex. It is uh, it's actually a disorder. They want to gain attention of uh, friends. So next one is a uh, little more severe. That is narcissistic personality disorder. See, they you know they they are self-centered. Even you, they, their talk, their action, everything. Uh, they will not even sweat. They don't like. They don't wish to sweat. Excessive self-love. Uh, people with all these character, characters uh, may say that I am ready to marry, but I don't wish to have children. It may affect my body shape even, females say. Narcissistic personality disorders people 
many times they are very selective in finding friends also. They exaggerate their achievements, expecting others to recognize them as being superior. See, they even their friends are coming in the same category. They, they are choosing. So narcissistic personality disorder again, it, it, it too has a learning, uh, observation from the society, the selected observation from the society. Uh, of course, there is genetic uh, reasons are also there, but uh, that can be overcome. Like what Atlet said, these are all bricks through nurturing, training. From right from the childhood, if uh, parents or the teachers can understand these are certain disorders, antisocial person disorders, uh, not taking care of the society or narcissistic personality disorder, borderline, all these can be understood through observation by the parents, children. That is why psychologists, learn the psychologists. That is why I again and again telling, never shall close your books. Make enough knowledge so that you can be an asset to society. You will be able to identify. And also, we have to remove any such uh, traits in us. We have to be a model. So they are generally uninterested in the feelings of others and make advantage of them. Now comes, see, you should understand schizoid personality disorder. When we discuss, we'll come to know where we are going. Please listen now. Schizoid personality disorder. People with a schizoid personality disorder avoid a relationship and do not show so much emotion. See here, you can see when bipolar comes, you just remember schizoid personality disorder. People with schizoid personality disorder avoid relationship and do not show much emotion. So this is schizoid. I will discuss more after a few slides. They, they genuinely prefer to be alone and do not secretly wish for popularity. They tend to seek jobs that require little social contact. Their social skills are often weak and they do not show any need for attention or acceptance. They are perceived as humorless and distant and often are termed loners. Here, this is a very important schizoid personality disorder. Even the people, very even the closest friends may not know that this person has got a disorder. Why you know? Because so the bipolar 2 when we discuss, we'll connect bipolar 2 with the schizoid personality disorder. This is because in schizoid personality disorder, they are not rebelling the society. They want to be alone. They are choosing in job, taking job. They are not rebelling anybody. Socially alienated. So they are not giving any troubles. Nobody notices it also. But you should understand in this case also as the bipolar 2 that we are going to discuss. You have studied uh, the sociometry. Hope you remember the first year practical sociometry. Sociometry, you, you could uh, find uh, the stars isolated. I'm not saying that all the isolated people are schizoid or bipolar. What I'm bipolar 2, not bipolar 1. I'm not, I'm not saying that all the isolated people are uh, particularly in our class and all that association is not there once in a while only we are seeing. Not uh, like unlike the regular class. So in my practical class, I was always telling uh, this, uh, this, is, this cannot be a, uh, an ideal result because uh, only in the regular college or in an industry where the people see every day that this can be done. At least you should know that's a tool like that. That's why that was included in the first year. Now, the schizoid personality disorder as well as a bipolar 2, when the social isolation is there, you should see the difference between energy and synergy. Because what is the purpose of this uh, uh, sociometric test? Mm -hmm. To find the isolated people and star and many other category. Isolated people may be having a lot of potential. They can add a lot to the group if they are created. Hope you understand. That is why schizoid and bipolar 2 are not dangerous to society, but their skills are not utilized by the society. That is the importance. Now comes the schizotypal. 
So characterized by need for social isolation, old behavior and thinking, and often unconventional beliefs such as being convinced of having extrasensory ability. You see, look, ESP, extrasensory. So extrasensory perceptions, the perception that you have studied the first year, extrasensory perception is there. So this is more closer to schizophrenia because it has got an ESP that is more, it is schizoid, it is not schizoid personality, schizotypal personality disorder is more close relation with that of schizophrenia. Avoidant personality disorder. This, uh, you please recollect when I was talking about avoidant personality disorder. Uh, no, when I was talking about uh, the other one, uh, that is social isolation. When a person is very shy, people will be avoiding. It's a situation, when the situation is avoided, what will happen? So, the person, the learning is the problem. When a child is ridiculed, not appreciated in the class, in the society, he may have an avoidant personality. He may develop an avoidant personality disorder. From the next picture, you will come to know this. See, two extremes are shown here. High shyness, avoidant personality disorder is more. I was discussing it in the, uh, in the beginning itself. You have to uh, know about this particular spectrum. Avoidant the personality disorder. Sorry. Avoidant the personality disorder is closely related to the uh, child rearing, uh, the shyness. So high shyness means avoid personality disorder will be high. If it is minimal, it is acceptable because auchityam, auchityam, then that way, the most appropriate here and now situation, that is auchityam, here and now situation is there, a person may take a little shyness, that is acceptable. So you, I'll, I'll just explain the body dysphormic disorder. So that disorder is there, a child is not cute not appreciated, is black and short. Everybody ridicules. And like I was telling the film stars example and all that. The child himself, he was very shy to exhibit. Actually, the teachers and the society should bring him to the friend. Then this disorder will not be there. Otherwise, that person will be avoiding. And certain incidents. One of the cases came to my clinic, just take two kilometers uh, from my quarter, Elur. One child was brought to me, where uh, only the child and the mother was there in the house. Father was uh, always outstretched. So the mother used to take the child for all ceremonies, whether it's, it is a marriage, a funeral or what not. Well, she was taking the child every time. Now, the child was also entertained that when there's a death, and you know there will be a ceremony on the 11th day or 15th day, whatever, there will be a feast also will be there. A feast also will be there. This child is also encouraged to go for that because there is a feast. Now, that in one of the incidents, what happened is that a person of 18 year boy or 19 year boy met with a bike accident and died. So unlike the old age death, this particular death was so agonizing. Everybody was worried. Total silence was there. Only crying was there in the house. But in between there was a silence. At that in that breaking that silence, this boy was asking in, in a loud voice to the mother, Mommy, when will be the next feast for the fe feast for this for this accident? So the child didn't know the accident and then 
for whenever a person is dying, the child used to get a feast. See the condition now, the mother crying loudly took the child away from the house and the child was beaten and ridiculed. And then onwards, the mother also was not going for any ceremony and any of the functions. So the child became, got avoidant personality disorder. The child was brought to me. So when he was in the eighth study, then I, I fact, in fact, I took him personally to many functions. And uh, through exposure therapy he, and CBT, he was made all right. I hope you understand while when you when the child is ridiculed, all this people, uh, all this problem take place in a child. The teachers has got a very good role, but unfortunately, it is quite natural when a cute uh, boy, girl is there as, as well as the extracurricular activity when they are good, they are always appreciated. And when a person is failing in the examination, so yeah, that is why you know, all the first rankers, everybody is appreciated. Those who are not getting good marks, they are ridiculed. So many people may think that I am not good. So that is why transactional analysis is a very good therapy. TA is a very good therapy. Uh, I, I hope you remember the um, script, script writing. One by one, the script is reinforced in that person to avoid the situation. So the same way in a feast, uh, the child is vomiting. Uh, of course, it's a disturbance to the whole people sitting there. But if the child is ridiculed, the child may have a fear to face in the future. There's a stage of fear, everything is a result of this. So avoid the personality disorder, something can be, uh, it's a part of nurture. So dependent personality disorder, this is a big problem in industries and all that. So that's a writing, you know, if you have worked in schools, uh, you uh, some election processes, right? So this level is the one minute break, please let them go. It's a side of a canal road. Yeah, yes, please. Uh, sir, the the uh, th that is why right. here there some uh, some procession is going on due to election. So okay. please take take it. I'm just okay. taking a, a two minute break. Let them go. So the election is a necessary evil. <laughs> I'm coming back. Okay. Say so, dependent personality disorder is a big problem. This is because uh, so you know. Uh, there's a rating scale in the organizations and the schools and all that, how dependable a person is. See, in the, when dependent personality disorder is opposite of the, the dependency on the person, that is, you have to be clear about it. Suppose uh, clear instructions are there to carry out the work. Uh, when dependent personality disorder means he is not, that person is not dependable to the organization, he awaits for the superior to come every time to take a, action. Only if he agrees, again, again, reinforces, he will act. So dependent personality disorder people will not be hardworking. So even biblical therapy, Adlerian therapy, Adler said, uh, out of 10 uh, we studied yesterday, you know, work occupation is very important. Bible it is said, that means out of the set of the forehead only, you can should have the your meals, food. So, dependent by, uh, that is why uh, the theory of ericarism you have studied. A four year child person can do 400 things. So, trust versus mistrust. Enthusiasm of the child, everything is explained 1.5 to, uh, to 3, 3 to 6, and all that. So, very, very important that the child is taking initiative when the child is discouraged. The child may develop different personality disorder. Child should be asked to do a lot of work appropriate to the age. Otherwise, dependent personality disorder. Again, Adlerian theory, uh, spoiling, spoiling of the child without asking, tampering and spoiling. Without asking by the child, the child is given support. So that uh, result in dependent personality disorder. Now, OCD is the same thing also, only the personality disorder. Old eccentric behavior, paranoid, schizoid, again, it's the same thing is again given just to entertain you, to reinforce 
avoid and dependent obsessive compulsive compulsions, everything. Now comes the mood disorders. The mood disorders, this is actually in the most part it is uh, psychotic. Yes, we have mood disorders. You must be very clear, careful when we discuss this particular thing. Because you need to differentiate. Even we have mood disorders. But what is the extreme? First, I'll be showing just a sphere. Then I'll come back to this. Then only you'll be clear. So you just see the sphere here. There's two arrow. One is depression, one is elation. Instead of a circle, you should see it as a sphere, golem. Because if it is a circle and I'm drawing just uh, three lines, topper portion and the bottom portion, you cannot understand the volume. Now by showing the sphere, you are clear about the volume. Say for example, Elation means without much reason, you get happiness. Without much reason, when you are having happiness, is called elation. So that is their common um, to joke, uh, through a joke to make you understand. When you get, uh, um, most of you are studious, I know, still as a joke, I'm telling, when you get a MAPC certificate, you are very happy. I'm not saying that you should be happy. But just, just for a joke, I'm telling you, you're very happy, overwhelmed with the certificate. These are all very common in everybody. I'm telling only a joke to make you, maybe some people may be sleeping, to make you alert, I'm telling. You got something, you are very happy. Even without even such a certificate also, my person is happy. That means elish without any reason. That happens in everyone. People are happy unnecessarily also. Slight depression is also there. But you see, suppose it's a port. Yes, we have half it's a port. Just see, uh, if it is very little, no problem. Just you see, when one inch more up, one inch up, there is another circle. Imagine another circle. Then what will be the total volume? When compared to the bottom, very little volume, now it is maybe 10 times higher than the bottom volume. So elation is coming up without any reason. That means we are very happy without any reason. And without any reason, some depression is there, it's okay. But what happens? Depression increase in volume in a huge level. And you just imagine the condition of a person or the threat to the medical practitioners and the doctors that the volume itself cannot be counted. And the episodes. Both depression and elation is coming simultaneously without knowing the time, space, etc. Any time that it may have. So naturally, the bipolar one people will be admitted in the hospital and they will be given medication that will be assimilated to the body at appropriate time. Or even understanding I mean, a close relation uh, is taken with that of the hypothalamus. And chemical control is done. The neurotransmitter, everything that you have studied in the first year, that is purpose behavior. So elation and depression simultaneously coming up and down, the huge volume is called the bipolar one. Now you just go to the uh, different types of mood disorders. Depressive disorders. Those disorders ranging from relatively minor feeling of melancholy, loss of interest, or some kind of happiness as I discussed, just at bottom, at the bottom of the spear, or at the top of the spear, very little. That is okay, elation and depression. So 
if it is in any case you have to compare this with that of the mental disorder definition now i'll read it once again those disorders ranging from relatively minor feeling of melancholy loss of interest in all activities early morning especially to deeply negative view of the world and inability to function effect inability to function effectively then it is a disorder whether it is very little also so dissatisfaction and anxiety changes in the appetite sleep psychomotor function loss of interest in energy feeling of guilt thoughts of death and diminished concentration so bipolar and unipolar i discussed bipolar 1 and bipolar 2 in bipolar 2 there will be depression more elation we will come we'll discuss once again that now again the first day itself i was telling you should know the word meaning of everything dysthymic disorder the word dysthymic came from greek dysthymia means defective or diseased mood so before that uh, let me just uh, summarize when when before i advance what all things we studied now and the disorder definition how it is applicable five ca categories of anxiety disorders five categories of somatoform disorders more than 12 uh, personality disorders so some 20 to 25 you have already studied now mood disorders also there are a cluster and finally see the thing is that why i am i took a small break and discuss is because till mood disorders till mood disorders that are all types of anxiety and personality disorders including in the uh, what you say uh, borderline personality disorder there uh, even without medication if there is no suicidal threat uh, a counselor can do a lot but when it comes to mood disorder the psychotic symptoms are there medication is a must only after medication and uh, there is a willingness to listen that is a mental status examination the attitude towards the counselor eye contact how is the eye contact of the patient all these are relevant because a psychotic person may not be showing any uh, eye contact also interest in the counselor so this is the importance when you treat the mood disorder people uh, if the person is whether the person is uh, attentive to what you do Uh, along with medication only this can be cured that is why so the word dysthymic came from the word dysthymia means defective or diseased mood they show either poor appetite or overeating and either insomnia or sleeping too much both happens either too much or too less difficulty in concentration decision making constant feeling of tiredness low self esteem feeling of hopelessness likely to begin at childhood to early childhood sometimes show symptoms of major depressive disorder so major depressive disorder again we will be discussing it's a very very severe uh, kind of disorder the major depressive disorder uh, we will discuss it but this particular dysthymic you see what we because only by teenage or when a person is getting married or after getting an employment only complaints comes in childhood when these symptoms are given which therapy you know no doubt it is called roches therapy learning theory everything will apply because a creativity in a person should be improved to reduce the diseased mode engage in different activities of a person for the openness to freedom say so whatever uh, interest say for example he has got an interest in a particular field of study he should be sent to that suppose a person is not at all interested in engineering and mathematics you yeah, send him in that means he will have a dysthymic disorder along with that there will be a psychotic disorder genetic reasons there so you should know the traits in a person you should motivate don't force because we see in every day in medical colleges and engineering colleges type of cases so this is very important calrogest therapy is very very important because you should know the creativity of a person if a person is not creative childhood itself you should keep the person engaged uh, engage him in vocational activities also 
uh, his literary literature interest should be because a person he is interested in reading but in the childhood he lost his schooling then he will not have the reading interest also so all these are very very important but being a third world country uh, kids may not be brought to us but if the teachers are learning this psychology that's right if the teachers take uh, psychology as an additional subject and re since instead of getting a certificate if they are ready to learn all these mood disorders dissociative disorders if right from childhood all this antisocial personality disorder paranoid personality disorder all this can be cured such such a beautiful subject but unfortunately i neither the students study in such a way and nor the government facilitate so uh, we have got lot of issues but whoever study please try to understand our subject has got that much scope now the bipolar so cyclothymic bipolar 1 bipolar 2 miscellaneous category of bipolar disorders bipolar disorders included both period of depression as well as period of manic disorder that's why depression disorder and manic correlation or its milder variation hypomanic so mania emotional state characterized by intense or unrealistic feeling of excitement or euphoria hypomania means mild form of mania all these things are the categories we'll discuss once again So in cyclothymic, you now you study dysthymic. It's a serious thing that happens right from childhood. The teachers, society, parents can do a lot. Now in case of cyclothymic, there are three conditions are there: moral disturbance is there, hypomanic behavior is there, depressive behavior is there. So this condition is also a, it will result in avoidance personality disorder because of moral disturbance. so here you studied uh, i taught in detail first year as second year the indigo super ego the super ego is disturbed a lot moral disturbance is there telling a small lie make a person worried so such people uh, existential therapy is one of the best therapy for cyclothymic people but existential therapy is not that covered in uh, your syllabus i will try to do something in the next class so beginning adolescence or early adult life possibility likely to have close relative with bipolar disorder so cyclothymic disorder is also requiring a lot of attention right from childhood bipolar 1 i discussed with the help of a sphere so in bipolar 1 the difference between bipolar 1 and bipolar 2 is that in bipolar 1 both depression and elation mania episodes will be frequent again the election disturbance is there okay uh, bipolar 1 disorder up and down do you imagine that sphere uh, both sides flight of ideas elevated mood increased psychomotor activity these episodes are very frequent mixed with mania as well as depression so bipolar disorder bipolar 1 one or more manic or mixed episodes usually one or more major depressive disorder major depressive disorder we'll discuss again now you know the disability when we discuss that sub categorized based on the character of most recent episode so that is why doctors uh, admit the person they have a chart at what time which type of episode based on that they give medicine mixed medicines you should also know there's a in physiology a, uh, bbb blood brain barrier is that blood blood brain barrier that means our body itself is built in such a way that certain chemicals cannot pass to the brain and this is a threat in uh, psychiatry what they will do you know uh, they will send the two chemicals uh, and uh, it will get mixed up after it reaches there so such type of that is why mbbs five of years md at the three years then they take dnb or higher education So, ten years studies. So, so I'm, I'm sad to say that 
when uh, our psychologists say we are superior than psychiatrists, it's not like that. Our our area and their area is entirely different. Uh, their area, they put that much effort. So their even our area of of uh, anxiety disorders, they can uh, after by studying few techniques in uh, psychotherapy, they can handle. But we cannot uh, deal with any of this psychotic disorders without medication. Most of the cases, more than 99% of the cases, some medication, medical support of the doctors. But we can also do because a major portion of the people suffering from mental disorders are coming in anxiety disorders and neurotic disorders. That is why we have a lot of role to do. Uh, in bipolar 2, experiencing one or more florid, dramatic, manic episode the manic behavior is present to the very lesser negligible degree after hypermanic episode. That is hypermanic, a little lesser mania. Uh, having distinct period of elevated, expensive, and irritable mood and other manic behaviors. Social or on the job function is not greatly impaired. That's why I tell, told you. Um, schizoid as well as bipolar disorders, they may not exhibit much symptoms. Only thing is, they are isolated. They will keep at some corner of the office, of the school as They are not interested in the activity. They will simply take up a job that is acceptable to them. So it is, or they will not go. They will select a job uh, uh, to go at their convenience. So society, even the people close to them, also may not understand what exactly is the problem. So this bipolar two, as well as schizoid personality disorder people. They are isolated, they are calm and quiet, they are not giving any pain to others. So, but their potential may be very high. That is why the energy synergy relation, our sociometry study, the isolated people may be having, maybe, I am not saying that all isolated people are having bipolar 2 or schizoid personality disorder, but these people, some people are found to be having bipolar 2 and schizoid disorders, those who are isolated. So they can be brought to the uh, mainstream uh, right from the childhood through the in, intervention of the teachers, parents and others. Hope you understand the importance of studying all these things in detail, even for a counseling psychology, psychologist. That's why person suffering from may not be even aware, but people around them feel concerned about it, but they cannot understand what is the reason. The, so this isolation is there uh, maybe because of this bipolar or schizoid. There are medications. They, they need not, uh, they need not, this schizoid as well as bipolar 2 need not be admitted. But bipolar 1 has to be admitted already because the episodes only doctors can, uh, that not do that. Frequent hospitalization is required, a regular checkup is required, uh, month by month uh, the, the episodes change. So that's a threat. The bipolar 2 that you know that I have already discussed, cyclothymic we discussed, two years of alternative hypomanic and high depressive disorders. Now, this is a very important thing, major depressive disorder. You can read all this and understand, but do you please try to understand a particular point in it that is more important because depressed mood, loss of interest, change in weight, appetite, sleep changes, all this we have all discussed with many of the illnesses. But the major depressive disorder, episode, uh, disorder, the major threat is that the um, particular one that repeated thoughts of death or suicide or planned or attempted suicide, feeling worth, worthlessness. So this is a major problem in them. So that is why the psychologist may not undertake these cases unless they are taken to psychiatrist. Major, all major depressive disorders, even right from bipolar, sorry, uh, right from uh, borderline personality disorder, if there is a suicidal symptom is reported, it is advised that your uh, psychology, clinical, even counseling psychology, clinical psychology, they should not take uh, without a medication. So if the five symptoms are there, feeling worthless, worthlessness, so one person will be depressed, volition, willpower is not there. So these are the problems that you have to understand. The manic episode, this, uh, everything we have discussed. 
next episode is that hypermanic episode so all these are repetition only so instead of sphere uh, in net sphere is a my contribution in fact I, to make you understand better i made a sphere and explained the first the same thing is there it is explained through a graph hypermanic depression i don't know how you will be watching it in your screens but it is a, uh, it is clearly evidenced with three colors that is one is violet one is green one is red so bipolar 2 is green as i told you bipolar 2 and schizoid personality disorder not a major threat but major depressive disorder is a threat because there is suicide threat in the nine conditions hope you are following it's all confusing because a lot of things i've discussed maybe uh, you can understand all this when having understood this anxiety disorders cluster personality uh, and somatoform disorders as well as that of personality disorder this mood disorder is a little tough but you can by rewinding and seeing it again and again you, from this graph you can understand bipolar one is severe because both the manic you can see at the top mania or relation depression uh, at the bottom so i made it as a sphere to make you understand the volume this is actually my finding i didn't see in any books after a lot of practice and teaching i found that if i exhibit a sphere first you can easily understand that so the green bipolar 2 as well as a schizoid may not be a problem big problem red the major depressive is a problem because we cannot satisfy with the because the people who were earlier satisfied with an earlier activity are not satisfied today so every day they get changed so bipolar 1 as well as major depressive disorders you need the help of psychiatrist and medication since we are i have already shown you same thing this uh, i made it because to make you easily understand the volume of bipolar one and when bipolar two is there uh, the depression will be more elation will be less so cyclopramia all these are discussed now few medicines uh, i have uh, mentioned this uh, to make you understand to know which are the types ssri serotonin so the sleeplessness, the cycle, uh, all this depression causing uh, brain chemistry. These are the selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, SSRI. Then uh, the many mood stabilizers are there. That all these are MIOIS. All this uh, medicine you are not uh, you should not prescribe because we have not studied even pharmacology it's a part of mbbs and uh, in the second year they have a mbbs uh, pharmacology paper is there and they specialize in this particular medicines in the psychiatry at least um, uh, mbbs is enough to prescribe these medicines so you should understand at least this type of medicines are being prescribed for this type of mood uh, instability at least if you know all these categories the only category you should know by searching a particular if you know the category and its uh, specialization the benefit is that when a prescription is brought you can understand which category that medicine is coming so otherwise uh, that uh, if you just ignore a prescription i don't want to say i am only a counseling psychologist why should i say this then why should the client come to you there are people who knows both they will go there so dual action antidepressants are there atypical antidepressants are there so all these with example and key mood stabilizers and the conversions are there uh, tricyclic antidepressants are there because i am explaining all these things because of my experience i was a medical representative in sicla limited for some time and i am a part of amrita institute of medical sciences for the last 15 years so i thought i should share some knowledge to you Benzodiazepines, everything is very common to you. Uh, this alprazolam, uh, triglycerides are there. Even 0.25 mg uh, alprazolam is very useful uh, to get a good sleep. Next day, there will not be any tiredness. But the only thing is that the drug take over upper hand. So that 0.25 mg may not be sufficient uh, after one month. 
So that is why once in a while it is all okay, but uh, there is no other way in psychotic diseases you have to take medicines. So please try to understand all this in ultra convulsive therapy, ECT, that is also there in your uh, uh, case studies. So there's nothing wrong in your case studies if you prescribe, if you just note down the prescription, uh, the psychiatrist has prescribed these medicines meant for that. There's nothing wrong if you exhibit more knowledge, only things you are not supposed to prescribe that. So, so life change, lifestyle changes, earlier in the lifestyle change, so definitely. Lifestyle changes can definitely uh, remove many of the symptoms, right, from uh, rearing. That is what Adler also said, Carl Rogers said, even Freud said, lifestyle, life change will make the person more healthy. So diet, drinking alcohol, you know, in Indian condition, we were, do not uh, prescribe. But uh, to a great extent, uh, it is said that uh, health, uh, uh, the five components of health, no smoking, moderate alcohol, sex, exercise, sleep. So these are all the healthy thing. Alcohol, though we cannot recommend, uh, it is accepted to some extent in developed nations. So depressive disorders. So I have completed everything. Now I'm just uh, covering a po small portion. I managed the time in such a way that I took a trial yesterday. It wanted to cover everything in the two hour gap. So all this uh, schizophrenia. Uh, I'm sending all this, all these uh, slides are not exhibited here, but I'm sending so I can uh, slowly study it by consuming time. You can go through all this, the prevalence of many of this, the illnesses. Schizophrenia, I'm covering only a particular portion. History is very interesting if you study the history. Uh, 4A. Uh, so some of the, sometimes in clinical psychology this question is asked what are this 4A? So schizophrenia, if you study these two things, negative and positive, both are not desirable. Say so what is not in schizophrenia patient? What is there in schizophrenia patient? That's only it's meant. See, so by saying negative and positive, only two things are meant here. That is, in a schizophrenic patient, what are the things not available and what are the things available? For example, what are things not available in schizophrenia patient is that allogia. That means no speech. That's right. Without knowing the meaning, one cannot understand. I, I myself may forget. So I put the meaning in bracket. Allogia means without speech. If you take 1000 schizophrenic patient, 1000 will be the character. Even allogia without speech, means their speech will be less. Some people will be mute also. So affective flattening, rest For example, even when somebody is appreciating in the WhatsApp, giving a shake hand or giving a thumb up symbol, you are happy. So yes, no such things will work with schizophrenic patient. Evolution, apparently, no interest, no motivation. So everything is no. Anhedonia. See, that is right. The basic uh, basics of Freudian theory is pleasure. Hedonism. That is not there. Inability to enjoy pleasure. So that is right. Even this alone is there. It's like one of the conditions of schizophrenia. A person do not have any such uh, condition, should not at least marry. So at least 50 to 20 percent of the people are having at least many of the symptoms of schizophrenia, even though they are not schizophrenics. But you should understand the negative. These things we should have. These things we should have, but we don't have. Or the schizophrenic people do not have attention impairment. So allogia, affective flattening, evaluation, and hedonia. Because hedonism is very healthy provided you don't encroach the liberty of another person. I'm not saying that a person uh, should always uh, be hedonistic or a womanizer. It's not like that. What I meant is that any type of pleasure is hedonia only. So long as it is within the social rules, acceptable to society, not encroaching the liberty of another person, it is acceptable. What is positive? What they have? Hallucination. We discussed hallucination. I said I talked about this. Illusion is something that is your, your senses are deceived by a magician. 
or someone else hallucination is you yourself deceive seeing something else you you pretend that this is something imagine that this is that as a, 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 a wavering uh, leaf is a ghost that is hallucination something is there you get misled delusion i told you the best example uh, you are trying to find a dark a black cat in a dark room on a no moon day which is actually not there actually ghost everything is there just beliefs only it's a delusion uh, even a, a beyond a level uh, of belief is also a delusion bizarre strange behavior positive formal thought disorder lack of assertiveness responsibility so at least these two things you have only if all these symptoms are there uh, that to a psychiatrist only can take a decision whether the person has got a schizophrenic symptom after giving medicines and all that they decide after measuring the episodes 